lounging, TMF, the pitch, recognize. Today with Biggie Smalls, Lil C's. And uh, this is the real hot special. And uh, I got a lot of questions to ask Biggie and Lil C's. Because uh, you, you, you be all over the place. Oh, yeah, you be shining in every video, you be shining. <laughs> right? Biggie, how, how did you find the Dutch audience? It was tight, it was tight. They liked the music, that's all I, I was into. As long as they know the joints, you know, I don't like doing shows and they don't, you know what I'm saying, they don't really know the songs. They knew every joint, so it was cool. So, a little CG part of Junior Mafia? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah. 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 So, uh, I mean, how's it going with Junior Mafia in the States? Just chilling. You know, I'm about to do some solo projects with the group, you know, Lord Kim, doing a solo joint. That's it. I'm going to do Junior and Mafia you? album. And I'm you? doing a solo album, yeah, yeah. like in November. Yeah. And production? It's on production. Yeah. Working with a few other cats, but I'm starting to learn how to you know, work with a little something, got a, little, a few ideas. So, just gonna try to keep it in the family, see what we can work out, you know? And when can we expect a new Biggie album? End of August, hopefully. End of August? Yeah, I'm in the studio every day. Well, if I'm not on the road, just doing those shows on the weekend. And uh, Come home, we in the studio. And uh, who's involved on the production? Basically, I'm trying to get the same heads. You know, a lot of people busy. But like Premier, Moby, you know, Puff doing some joints. My DJ Enough doing some joints. My man Nash, Nashin, he wanted to do Who Shot Your Beat. He doing some joints. So is there a title for the album here? Yeah. Life After Death. Life After Death. Yeah. And uh, is it, uh, Craig on the album? Matt? Yeah. Nah, I'm nah. fuck with that though. <laughs> You can't curse? Yeah, you can curse. <laughs> I, don't fuck, I don't fuck with that. You don't though. fuck with Craig. All right. Um, but I noticed, like, on the remix, Flavor in Your Ear, y'all worked that together. That was just something I had to do. You know what I'm saying? That's politics. Puff asked me to do it. Yeah. I did it. I don't fuck with that. Though. Artist-wise, who can we expect on the new album? Um, me and C's doing a joint. Me and Kim. Um, trying to get with Jay-Z. Um, I got um, a duet with the Osley Brothers. Me and Bone, Bone Thugs and Harmony, and me and Method Man doing another show. So we can expect that in August. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. I mean, I'm just working, you know what I'm saying? I'm the type of person that's just going, every song I do, I put it, make sure it's on the album. You know, we're just going to do joints and so we comfortable that like we got another hit album. I don't want to come less than what I came before, so. Yeah, yeah. Keep doing joints. All right, now I'm going to go into another, another subject real quick. Right, a lot of a lot of artists who blow up in Europe, you know, like ninety percent of them, like the I think the first the first artist from the East Coast to actually blow up out here, like from the East Coast is Buster or and the Fugees. Uh -huh. But apart from that, it's all West Coast stuff, and I don't know what the reason for that is because I think people think it's more musical that they could sell it better. But you know, I mean, me myself, I'm from East New York, uh -huh. and when people watch whatever type of show and they see videos from Biggie, they see the raw, you know? Mm -hmm. And I think in Europe they want to keep the raw away, but I mean, if you say your album is due to come out in August, I guess we could expect you touring yeah. throughout Europe. I mean, I'm down for whatever, you know? I mean, I make music for everybody, you know what I'm saying? I mean, necessarily underground, not necessarily pop, or it's for everybody, you know what I'm saying? You're either gonna get with it or you're not. You know what I'm but I'm gonna be here. I'm gonna be everywhere, pumping it, pumping it, just trying to ram it down your throat. <laughs> yeah, I can dig it. A lot of a lot of people say, okay, once the artist sells all right, a certain amount of records, and uh, he then becomes commercial. Now, me myself, I think if you started making raw shit, it will always remain raw. Mm -hmm. If people buy it, that, that that's a blessing, exactly. you know, and. Uh, I mean, how do you feel about that as far as people saying, well, okay, yeah, it, it was raw in the beginning, but now, you know, they're selling records or whatever, and I'm not necessarily talking about Biggie or Junior Mafia, but I'm talking about how that happens to artists in general, because with Busta Rhymes, now everybody's going, yeah, Busta, he raw, but, you know what I mean? This, that, and the other, it's just media bullshit. Right. Whatever, <laughs> you know, to me, it's just like, you got to feed your families, man. You know what I'm saying? It's not even to the point where it's a sense of keeping it real and keeping it, keeping it real is making sure your mother got a house and 
your, your family is taken care of, man. No matter what I say, if I just start rapping my flowers and it sells four million, I'm straight. My family is straight. <laughs> Regardless of what you may think about it, it had to be something to somebody for it to sell four million records. You know what I'm saying? I mean, me, myself, I started off with Juicy. You know what I'm saying? Straight R&B tracks, singing on the hook. So anything else, you, anything else you see from me, you should be expecting to see that type of stuff. But me being from the hood, straight grimy nigga, I'm gonna always have some grimy shit forever. Cause that's just all I know. But the radio stuff is kind of easy, so and it sells. I mean, you, once you learn the formula, why would you want to go against it? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know Busta ain't trying to come back out with no hardcore rhyme and all messed up where you can't really understand what he's saying. He know. The formula now, he know how to come out with joints that's gonna make people jump. I bet he's still on that same flow. It don't wanna come no different. I'm supposed to be talking that shit to the niggas that be fucked up, they ain't got no money, they aggravated. The artists just be aggravated talking that bullshit ain't keeping it real. Yeah, well, I'm, you broke. <laughs> Baby, what the fuck you telling me, you dead ass broke. I can dig it. Well, yo, Biggie, thanks for stopping by and talking to us, and I hope we get to see you in Holland again. Oh, yeah, we're going we're born storming, man. Lil C's joint drop. Lil Kim, we coming right back. Born storming, ramming it down your throat once again. Biggie. Ain't nothing different. Lil C's, Biggie, thanks a lot. Biggie, thanks for stopping by. <laughs> Yo, Lil <Right>. C's. <laughs> Yo, this is Glaze, Notorious Big, Lil C's, Junior Mafia, from the Real Hot Special. We out. <laughs>